Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and to answer a uh, series of questions I've got in the past uh, week and a half from several viewers uh, talking about the expiration date of uh, a Windows version, Windows 10 versions. Uh, so like I always say, the Windows 10 versions have 18 month cycles for consumers. So that means that when you install the latest update, for example, if you're on the October 2020 update that was released last month, you have 18 months starting from there to uh, when it will actually end support. So some of you have been asking me, when is the end of support of the different versions? Because a lot of you are on you know, either 1903, 1909, uh, some are on the May 2020 update, and some on the October 2020 update. So What's the expira expiration date? Well, first of all, 1809 has expired this month, November of 2020. 1809 was that version that was released in um, October, November of 2018. So I believe it's November 2018, I think that was released. So that version, you had your last security updates for Patch Tuesday in November. So you have to move on if you don't want to stay behind in security updates. The uh, next version, 1903, which is the um, first version that was released in uh, 2019, last year, that one is expiring, 1903 is expiring in two weeks, a week and a half. It expires in December of 2020. Actually, Microsoft has pushing, uh, started pushing everybody that's on 1903 to 1909, which is the uh, November 2019 update, which was released a year ago. So you should probably, I've been pushed already or will be pushed in the next days or weeks, as you will have your last security updates in December. 1909, so Microsoft pushing 1903 to 1909. 1909 is expiring in... Uh, 2021. So somewhere in, I believe, May of 2021, you will get your last updates for security. So on 1909, you, you still have until the month of May of next year to uh, with your version of Windows 10 to stay safe. And of course, those on the May 2020 update, that first version of this year, that is expiring in uh, possibly November of 2021. So in one year from now, you still have a year if you're on the May 2020 update. And finally, the, the uh, October 2020 update, this one will expire uh, possibly in um, April, somewhere in April or May of 2022. So you are okay for a full year next year and, you know, have until 2022 if you don't want to move on to anything else. So these are the uh, expiration moments of these Windows operating systems. They uh, all have 18-month cycles for consumers, basically. Of course, the question that a lot of you have been also asking is with all of these versions um, and, and the fact that maybe next year we get one version, shouldn't that change? Shouldn't that 18 month become 24 months? Um, look, there's no indication to that right now, and it could be possible, but right now there's really no indication that that is going to change for now. And 2021 is quite a mystery still for a lot of the questions we have about how Windows and what's going to happen with Windows 10 next year. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.